Hi, I'm going to show you how to tie a very big uh, stonefly. This is the MP2706. It's a rather big pattern, but you know sometimes we have to, uh, to have very big pattern as stoneflies. So you can find all the detail here on that page. I mean, the tool requested and the material requested to tie this very big pattern. So let's go and see now how it goes. This is the size 8. So pretty big. You start to with the tying thread first, of course, and then you will use uh, two CDC, which I call number seven, khaki Campbell, which I like very much to make the wings. So put it there first. Include the stem in, and you go up to the bottom of the, where you want to start the body. For the body, as it is a rather big, I will use two different colors to get a CDC. This is the Vieux Jaune, old yellow, and the cream, number uh, four. So I put that in first, like this, and then use the plier to twist and wrap the two feathers together. And so I trim the excess here and then I twist and wrap to create the body shape. It's uh, a little bit lighter than the, the olive color but quite often we do have some uh, big stone flies with very light body color especially at the beginning. So you secure the feather by few wraps and then the thread and then you can trim off the stem left from the first two feathers. Then I use two olive uh, feathers that I will combine together and we will put it here like this to continue the body. Okay, now I will continue with the same plier with the olive feather. So I can have a quite long and dense body with those CDC feather. So I will leave uh, the barbs coming out here. So a few wraps to secure the feathers and a few wraps to secure the thread. Okay, now I can trim off the excess here. By the way, I will leave a little bit. I will clean up the under part, but I will leave the side here to float very well and also to illustrate the, the legs. So um, I will use a little bit of uh, ice dub brown, which is a color I like very much for that. And then for the legs I'm going to use the beast and for that I will use probably two of those that I will incorporate in the magic tool. So you put you use you prepare your feather like this put the pop 90 degrees from the stem you repeat the same procedure on the second feather and then you will use two of them uh, with the appropriate table clip of the magic tool, which is the medium one for that one. And then I will cut the extremity transfer to the uh, regular clip and then get rid of the stems like this. Now I am ready to, to do the job. So what I will do here is to open the thread to be able to incorporate those two components. So you flat the thread first and then you open the thread in two and then you incorporate first the uh, eye stop and then the CDC. So the first section will be the thorax and the second section will be the legs. So some twist and do not hesitate to start forward and to come backwards and then you go forward with the legs and then you reverse flip back 
the wing and with the remining you do like this and so it's a very strong and very efficient pattern so when you need to have a very big pattern like the Perla Grandis or Perla Maxima or which is a Plecoptera uh, you can have this this is a, actually a size 8 which is quite big you can find even bigger pattern you will do exactly the same but a bit longer trim a little bit what is too much and look at that it's just a big pattern which flowed very well and very attractive thank you for your attention